Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Spot Real Talk. My name is Tiara. I'm Tiffany. I'm Ron. And we are back as well as one of our favorite shows, Power Book Four Ghosts. I'm um, sorry, yes. Power Book <laughs> Two Ghosts. <laughs> I'm getting them all mixed up in this universe, but that shows my excitement. I'm just so excited that the show is back. The first five episodes were pure fire, and we on to the last five episodes now. And I think everybody has been waiting for them to return from this hiatus. Mm. And boy, did they come back with a bang. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we are excited to talk about this episode. But before we do, uh, please make sure you subscribe to our channel. Click that notification bell as well as that thumbs up button. All of those things help support us and keep us going. Uh, we appreciate all the support so far. So you guys continue to rock with us. Right. Um, but now let's get into... Uh, season four, episode six, The Devil's Playground. <laughs> so, you know, it, we know where last season left off. Diana found out she was pregnant. And it seems like, you know, everybody has kind of come to terms like this is happening. So they're out shopping for a baby and she seems to think it's a boy. Um, and, you know, it's like all of this stuff going on with their family. Diana is trying to decide, you know, that she wants to stay at Stansfield. And Monet is trying to pull her back into the house. And she's like, "Mm mm-mm, no. (laughs) So you can see a lot this episode that Diana is really trying to distance herself from the mess. And we'll talk more about that later. Um, But on the flip side, you have Drew over here spying on Detective Carter. And I'm like, Drew is so (laughs) obvious. I mean, this boy, (laughs) he is not, like, discreet at all. He got this gigantic camera. (laughs) He's literally right in front of the house. Right in and, front of the house, too. <laughs> and Monet put him up to it, though. Yeah, but she still, is. I mean, as close as he was, he should have just went on up and knocked on the door and said, can I take some pictures Yeah, he could have. And you see he got the middle finger for it, too. He sure yep. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, okay, this can only end terribly. So next thing you know, you, uh, here is Detective Carter busting up into Monet's house, him and her and her kids up. Um, demanding payment and wanting to know who is the supplier that they stole from. And so Monet being who she is, she's trying to work out something to buy her some time because he's not really going to give up the real person. We know Monet ain't going to do that. But it's like she also doesn't want to be under Detective Carter's thumb. Mm -mm. And so that, like those threats that he sends her way, it only fires her up more. And then you talking about threatening her kids' life when they was pointing the gun at Diana. I was like, okay, she just getting back in good with these kids. She gonna do everything she can to keep that relationship. Bad Mm -hmm. move. Bad Mm move. It is a bad move. Yeah, and you know they the the, uh, female officer Felicia was doing the most, taking the baby's clothes and dropping the little uh, globe she had just bought. And you know I was like. They just really are a horrible task force. And on top of that, arresting Drew because they have some plans for Drew. <laughs> mm-hmm. That was, so, I, I have to say, that was a little awkward for me. Um, which part? Was awkward for you. Arresting Drew and then telling him, well, I, 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 I know what they wanted. They wanted him to kill um, Zay. Zay. Uh, I got that, but. This whole arrest thing, it, it was just, it just felt funny. It, it I, and as far as Felicia is concerned, let me flip the script for a minute. I hope the algorithms would, our algorithms would allow me to say, there's a bullet with her name on it. Oh, for sure. Mm-hmm. I don't for sure. Know. She's I don't... gonna look. It's gonna be, it's gonna be hell to pay. Yes. <laughs> it's gonna and be. We, we don't talk about it more from too, all but... different sides. Yeah, we don't have to go there now. But there's yeah. gonna be a lot of people invested in seeing Felicia. Because I'm mad at her. I'm mm. mad at her too, and she yeah. is definitely on the hands list. Absolutely. Bye, Felicia. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but you know this whole thing with with Drew. Um. So. It's basically a situation where they they teamed up with a the last episode in that first part of uh, the season and they were supposed to be robbing the connects or whatever 
and Zay was supposed to be like the sacrificial lamb. Like, we're going to team up with you, but ultimately you about to be out of here. We're taking you out. Except for they didn't actually kill him. So Zay is in jail, but he's in the infirmary, still alive. And they're sending Drew in to go in and do their dirty work. Um, and so, you know, Drew is being sent to do dirty work. But then we find out later on that this task force is in hot water themselves. You know, mm -hmm. they are being investigated. Um, and the officer, Felicia, she's like being talked about as using excessive force. And she tries to talk her way out of it. And he's like, wrong answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. You know, <laughs> he's like, get here now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> And she's doing coke on top of that. So I'm like, you know, that really don't help her case. They could drug test her at any point in time, and she can get fired for that alone. Look, you know, when I saw all this happening with her and just think about the task force in general, it made me think about Racy Canyon and, mm -hmm. and, so, and Detective Howard, like how the walls were closing in. Yep. I was like, yeah, the walls closing in on them, too. Very much so. And making and very de desperate moves, too, because... Um, you know, Carter asking Felicia to, you know, do a job, take mm -hmm. out Zion. She gets messy and goes over to Diana, forces her, just as Drew it was forced to take out somebody. So they're just really getting messy. And that's mm -hmm. and you know, when you start doing that, your days are numbered. Yeah. It, you know? Truly. So I don't know. I And you know, of course she sees <laughs> Tariq and Braden. <laughs> on the camera doing doing Diana's job. Mm. And you know, I, I'm wanting to give Brayden the hand. I'm just might as well say it now. Go First ahead. of all, Brayden's still getting high. <laughs> He's still just being a screw up. I mean, you go on the stage, everybody pissed off at you at the performance. He is just messing up. Tariq tells him, you gotta tighten up. And His face was so mad. See, Tariq's he, he was was he was so mad. <laughs> he was pissed. And that would have been reason alone for me to just have left him. But of course, you know, Tariq, Tariq needs some uh, backup on this. But they overpowered the heck out of both of them. So I was like, I mean, way to fumble the ball. <laughs> well, they both got laid out. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm like, what did you go in to do? I mean, if you're going to kill him, you're going to wrestle with him first? I mean, right. he, they were trying to shoot him first, but um, Zion got the drop on him. As soon as he opened the door, he started and you know but that's my they point i mean little, they did you, they little, and he was much bigger than them i know but do you go in guns blazing or do you go in and having to pull out the gun because what my thought was it was so quick zion stopped whipping behind so quick i'm like okay but Tariq had the gun out though they, he got he got snatched mm -hmm. he knocked he snatched the gun. they got whooped he got whooped with the gun because after he finally you know um you know yeah. Stabbed him with the um the glass and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He, you know, he had what's it called? Had knocked the gun out of his hand, so he had to go pick it up. He had the gun out. Zion is just disabled. I mean, first of all, we, we saw how Zion wrecked with Kane. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Like he's a he's like a trained fighter. Mm -hmm. So yeah. so we saw that on full display, and that scene made me think about and I, I alluded to that in an interview that you guys are gonna see soon. And I you know, that's a nice surprise we got coming for y'all. But in one of the interviews, I mentioned that that scene kind of parallel parallel ghost, you know, scene with Kane. Mm -hmm. Because remember mm -hmm. that, you know, when um that the season two finale of Power, when Ghost and Kane was fighting he was choking Ghost out too. <laughs> he was yeah. choking Ghost out with it. He had the bag over his head and he mm -hmm. almost killed him. And what saved him is that Ghost grabbed the glass and he stabbed Kanan and, yep. and then left him in the. So when I saw that happen, I was like, this is, you know, it's, it's very similar with Tariq. Tariq mm -hmm. getting choked out and mm -hmm. then, you know, he had to use the glass to save himself. Yeah. And so the, the way that they kind of worked that whole situation with Zion was really, really smart on Tariq's behalf because, of course, Diana lets him know that she's been asked to kill Zion, but he turns it into a benefit for himself and Davis as well, where it's like, okay, you know, Noma got this issue with Zion as well. I can take Zion out on behalf of Noma and negotiate us a better deal. And I was like, okay, I see him maneuvering. He's using his head. No mm -hmm. matter how how 
uh, it's sufficient. His fighting skills may be. <laughs> the boy got a brain on him. He know how to use that brain. <laughs> yeah, fight, fight is zilch. It's just, I mean, and then, you know, you stop to think they both should have been, like, packing. I mean, uh, uh, Braden should have had one and, um, and you know, and uh, Tariq. So that way you, you can't knock both guns out out at the same time, you know. Mm-hmm. So, but they just go in like it's gonna be easy peasy, you know, well, no who problem. Who did say that Brady didn't have one? He, he didn't. He got, he got snatched up. He didn't get a chance to do anything. He didn't have one. Trust I'd me. I'd say Braden was high anyway. <laughs> yeah, he probably would. <laughs> he probably would have hit everything except uh, uh, Zion. When yeah. Braden was on Zion's back. That was hilarious to me because I was like, he was he was flinging Braden around like a little gnat. <laughs> yeah, it, it was really that was a funny scene. It was. <laughs> like, they look like some true amateurs who yeah. was Zion's big self. But yeah. you know, it was interesting to me how you know this situation with Tariq. It's it's gonna play out in a or at least we're gonna have to just wait and see because I really don't know how it's gonna play out, but. I think that Tariq being back in business with Noma was a bad move strictly because she she really wants to kill him and she can do it at any point in time. And I understand he's trying to think on his toes and kind of find a way to, to be on top again, but he literally just got from up under her thumb and now he's putting himself back in bed with her. That's and I'm he- like, I don't know. Did y'all think that was a smart idea, especially well, when Noma and Kane both want to kill them? The best thing he could have done was what he did, and, and that is to say, the information that he has, he, he claims he has on um, on Noma, uh, bought him some time with, uh, what's her name, Anna? Anya, yeah. Anya. Mm-hmm. And uh, so that that might help, but Kane wants him dead anyways, as, as soon as he can get him mm-hmm. dead, you know. So as I, I don't know if that's a, a good idea, but at this point, he really doesn't have any other avenue because if he is going to go back to business he needs he needs a you know he needs product and he needs a distro so what else is he going to do well i think Tariq is kind of adding insult to injury by talking about how anya stayed the night with him yeah and, uh, was... he's sleeping with her again yeah, and they is. pillow talking <laughs> yeah we use it as leverage because he let them he's letting her know that you know like if like something happened to me just that the other like you know <laughs> Yeah, he knows that's her her soft spot. I he, get it, but I'm like, you don't tell the woman you see the word child now. No, no you don't. No, <laughs> but, like, but he's but he definitely was using that as leverage, and he has even more leverage because Anya was giving up all the tapes, all of it, all the tapes, telling about Nigeria, London, all giving them all the tapes. I was like, dang, Anya. So what do y'all think is up with the brother, though, in Nigeria? Is that well, like a but, soft spot for Noma, too? Before I go there, I want to say something about Tariq. Tariq, you already think you got one little baby coming. And y'all ain't, <laughs> you ain't latexed up or nothing. I mean, you just out there doing it. You know, it'd be real I funny if... you ain't latexed up with, huh? with her. I didn't know he ain't latexed up. Uh, I, I, look, I'm just looking at what I saw, okay? She jumps up, he jumps up. Ain't no latex going on. Hey, I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> He's gonna be another uh, uh, a baby in the oven if this boy keeps on doing what he's doing. She sure gave up a lot for someone who said that he was a solid eight, and let's work on it being a ten. You sure gave up a lot of information, boo, for just an eight. <laughs> yeah, sure showing. did. Yeah, and he... that's why I'm like, what is Tariq gonna do with this information? Now that's what I'm interested in. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. you were saying um, what we thought about. Uh, so Noma has a brother in Nigeria, apparently. And I'm like, okay, so what's the deal with that? Because clearly Anya hasn't been there to visit. She's never gone to Nigeria because Noma keeps telling her it's not safe for her and all this stuff. So I'm like, what what are we about to do with that info? That's know. gonna be key info for I, I have several thoughts on on that because the Kane situation. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm peeping the dynamics of how she's starting to treat Kane. Yeah. And how she's treating Kane, she now she's starting to sun him and talk to him, kind of like how Monet talked to him. Yeah, well, she kind of feels like he's dropping the ball, like he dropped, exactly all this stuff for but, a day, and now he's coming back trying to kill me. But she's exactly, little, she's exactly. a little afraid of Kane, though. I mean, because Kane ain't having it, so. and she should be. 
because that's yes, where she I'm should going. be exactly because good. I think her she threatened him. She yeah. threatened him in in um in that statement that she made about uh yeah she pretty much let him let him know that she would take his life and I think at the end of this I think he's gonna kill her. Oh, he and won't then, have a problem I, with it. I, I don't know. I think, I he think won't have a he, problem. I think that he would kill her. And, and the fact that there's a London connection and stuff, I think that he would take her, take over her business, <laughs> the London connection, all of that. And plus, because, you know, he doesn't want to be back under Monet's thumb. It doesn't think? help him, though, that, or Ron, go ahead and finish your thought, because you sound like you want to say something. Well, I, <laughs> I wanted to just piggyback on what uh, Tiffany just said, because if you stop to think about it, he wants to get involved in all the business affairs contracts mm -hmm. he wants to know everything yep. and the only reason he wants to know that is because when he think he has his fill she's <laughs> gonna have a bullet uh, it's just as simple as that yep yep I, yeah so i agree 100 percent with that but i was thinking about this thing with effie because it's very clear that you know no one can sense he still has some feelings for her and it's like this little love triangle going on and she she's like just throwing it out there like i know i'm hip i see what you're doing now <laughs> And I was wondering, you know, if Noma ever did try to take Kane out, would Effie be the one to come to his rescue and kill Noma? That's a possibility. Or would she try to take would she try to take Effie out? Because one or one, the other, yep. One of the things that uh she's know, not gonna get her hands dirty, so it would be interesting to find out who she would use. She don't have that. nobody else, so she might have I, to get her hands dirty. What do you dirty. mean she killed Obi herself? She she yeah. would get her hands dirty if she has to. I don't know. I well I I well let me put this, let me put it this way. She killed her husband. It, she it's that last that. it's that last nail in the coffin. If you if not uh um if Naomi takes out Iffy. Noma. I mean Noma. If Noma takes out Iffy, last nail in the coffin because you can just about him be a hundred percent sure Kane will kill her. Oh, he will. He mm -hmm. will if he does that. And and one of the things that I was thinking it, it could lead to that. It could come to that because um that Russian thing and my and my son said something like that, which I thought was a good point. He was talking about the fact that the Effie escaped. And then mm -hmm. um, and you know she was he was saying that like even like the Russians, like who's to say that the Russians might think that Effie tried to set them up. up because she's the the other guy, Badine or the Badine or whatever is the one that um he's the head honcho and he he survived. But if Effie survives, he might think that she was a snitch or something and mm -hmm. set up that way. So did I miss something as to how in the hell they knew that F I mean because it Monet said Monet did. Monet, Monet was the one that she, gave up Vadim. Monet gave up Vadim. You don't remember when she met yeah. Davina, who's the name and yeah, stuff? Yeah, but I'm saying this just happened to bum rush at that particular time while Effie was there. I mean, it was so perfect. And just like you said, the Russians can't do anything but it, but think that Effie set them up. Exactly. So that's, that's, that's the way that looked, really. I mean, it looked that, exactly like Effie set them up. That, that's why I think yeah. she's going to be in danger because it's going to look like she has something to do with it. She didn't. So, you know, because Monet was the one that put Carter yeah. on to Yeah, to she put him on to yep. it, but it was just, how did you, you know, Carter, I mean, I guess a stroke of luck that you get there and Effie's there and, you know, the whole night. Yeah, I mean, he circled back on him because he, he, in that conversation he was having with Monet, he said, like, how they get to connect so fast? He was like, I, yeah. I just took their yeah. stuff from the dot and stuff. So after Monet said that, they circled back, back on him. And I guess the way they did it, because she said, you know, to him, she was like, they're not operating under the same same rules same that you rules. got us on and said yeah. that they they dangerous and stuff. So I think they probably staked staked them out, just that and the other and stuff, and then made made their move. Because they went in trying to one. kill they wanted to kill everybody in there, including yeah. Witnesses. Yes. Witnesses. And yeah, take they, the they money. Were, right. They were taking yeah. out everybody. Yeah. That's a, so they can make up any story they want. Mm -hmm. Sure can. And you know, the thing with Effie is she mentioned that she wants out. Like she said to Kane, like, I think I might be done with this. And I'm like, well, you don't get to just walk away. If we know with this game, it's only one way, two ways you're going out, jail or a cast. Mm -hmm. And I think that's probably what she was thinking because when dude looked like he was gonna shoot her, yeah. she you you can see her 
shut her eyes like she was bracing yeah. for it. You yeah, know, she, she and, hadn't, she's never had that much heat. And so mm -hmm. and now, you know, you think you can just get out of the game, but you got a big problem now because the Russians might think that you were involved. Yeah. And if that's the case, I, I don't know what to tell you, Evan. You know, it's, it's, it's sad, but she yeah. may be the next to go. Right. So. Yeah, it, it's looking crazy for Effie out here. But a, another thing that happened while that whole shootout with the Russians went down, Kamal happened to witness old boy from the task force not only taking the money, but then killing the guy after he surrendered. And so he, he's like, oh, okay, like, this task force is dirty. So mm -hmm. he approaches Carter, <laughs> wrong move, exactly. to tell him what he knows. That, that was... <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on. I thought you had more street smarts than that. I mean, if you saw what went down and you even said, I think your task force is dirty. Then, then the lead Carter, should be. Exactly. Yeah, then the lead has got to be thought. dirty. Yeah, I mean, I would have approached that with kid gloves, if at I'm all. Like, Tate is his brother. You know, yeah. I, I would have said, listen, I yeah. discovered this and we would have... How yeah. do you think I, we should approach this? I I would have exactly. kept that real low exactly. and um, exactly. and and talk and you know strategize behind the scenes because he tried because Tate was a former cop too. Exactly. So if yes. he came like two heads back bigger than one, then this is gonna bring Tate back into the fold. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But you know, I was thinking like exactly what you thought about bringing Tate in, but I'm like. He tried to change it up at the end. He was like, I'm going to need some time to think about this. I'm like, you know, dog, oh, well, he ain't about to give you no time. No, after, after he already spilled his guts, yeah. push away, your time is up. Yeah. You just gave him all the tea. Yeah. I was like, no, that's why you should have gone to your brother and been like, hey, bro, I had this dilemma that's happened. What should you do? And what's the problem? And you know, Tate would have probably told him, lay low. We had figured yeah. this out together. And so. Yep. As he he should have just played the game until yeah. he could have um you know got the right people's ears and you know involved. Yeah, he yeah. realized he realized he'd made a mistake and he was trying to you know kind of smooth it over. But man, he already read your tap chapter, so you were bound to you were bound to be uh, as you say, uh, Tiffany, unalive. Uh, unalive. <laughs> yeah. 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 So it's just, it's a hot mess with that situation. I was just like, wow, that was a terrible mistake. Yeah, terrible. it was. It was. And we um, called it, though. We called it in the first part of the mm -hmm. um the season that we mm -hmm. thought something was going to happen to him. Yeah. 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 So, you know, I wanted to um to circle back to Felicia and this Zion situation. Because we know, you know, that Felicia also received the cut of that much money that old boy mm -hmm. took from the Russian shootout. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know, she confronted Diana later on for sending Tariq to kill Zion instead of doing it herself. Which I'm like, you ain't got no room to see because you were supposed to do it and you sent her. So exactly. it's like it's just a trickle down. Exactly. But you know, Diana kind of pops off with her. She's going off at the mouth to how she ain't, you know, trying to be involved with the mess and ends up getting stomped out. I mean, I was like Oh wow! I was not expecting that this episode. I gotta say, I did not see that coming. I know. You know what? It, it, I I look at it as so. I think she's gonna lose the baby because of it. So yeah, I think so. She's too. gonna become bitter, and she'll probably join back with her mom. Uh, with one thought in mind is to get Miss Felicia, Detective Felicia. Um, it, I I. You know, you don't get a beat down like that and just walk away from it. And right. not, not being who you are and who your who your family is. So I, I know she so the baby will be gone. So so Tariq's free with that. He doesn't have to be he doesn't have to worry about father. But I don't know if he's gonna be happy though. He's gonna be Tariq is gonna be listen, this is what's gonna bring them and the Tahadas together for one yeah. last mission. <laughs> 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 they're gonna be, you know, they they're odds even came who's at odds with Tariq. But do you mm -hmm. think that Kane is going to be, you know, okay with somebody stomping his little sister out? No. Right. So that's going to be, all of them going to be on, and Monet going to be pissed. Mm -hmm. Everybody is going to be team, team op operation, get Felicia. And, you know, I'm wondering if, if, uh, if Diana is going to be conscious. Like, because it seemed like she was passed out in that alley when Tariq found her. 
And I'm like, is she going to be able to remember who did this to her? And if not, would Tariq suspect Effie instead? Because, you know, when they were in the uh, library and Tariq was working and Effie popped up and was expressing a little bit of jealousy about the situation Mm -hmm. and she was talking about how they should have gotten abortion and all of this stuff. I'm like, I wonder if Tariq would suspect Effie if for some reason Diana can't remember. I think she's going to come too because one of the pictures um, in the trailer showed um, Diana like holding this this thing and and like it it would look almost like the picture of Ghost when Ghost was in the um in the Bing and remember when he killed uh Charlie Murphy's character Officer Marshall with the weight mm-hmm. there's a there's some footage of Diana like that with um holding something over her head so my guess. Mm-hmm. Now that this has happened, my guess is Felicia. I I wanted to be Felicia. I I think she's going to get her lick back. Yes, she will. She needs to, because Felicia was dead wrong. She needs to get curb stomped for that. So we putting her on the who can get stomped list. (laughs) (laughs) No, I I, I don't think, I. it would be hard for me to imagine how um, Tyreek would uh, suspect uh, Ify, not to say that it doesn't make good theater. Mm-hmm. But um, it would just, I don't, I don't think he would think that if he could be that cool. So I, but like I said, makes good theater. So I don't know. Yeah. yeah I think he's going to find out. I think she's going to come to and mm-hmm. tell him. Yeah. I think she, he's going to find out. And I think, you know, I think you're right. I think eventually she's going to lose, lose the baby. And, and I think it's going to be game on. Yeah. yeah, it's and, gonna you know, be game on. It's certain. Oh my gosh, I just can't wait for the truth to come out because everybody's gonna be fired up after that. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And and I th- saw that clip, and it could be for any reason. We don't know, you know, why he was crying. But there was a clip in the um in the trailer for part two with with Tariq, like the tear rolling down his his mm-hmm. eyes and stuff. So I think he's probably gonna be hurt once he finds out that you know that the baby is gone and stuff like that and so yeah, I, for it's sure really on and popping mm-hmm. i'm gonna tell you yeah. if, if, if detective carter found out I, I i don't know if he knew that uh whether diana was pregnant or not i don't think he knew i don't uh, think he knew he mm-hmm. said no innocence right but and if, the baby if, is an innocent but if yep. he found out if he found out that she was pregnant and felicia had something to do with the um it's gonna you know what and that's gonna scare him too because he knows that monet and company ain't afraid of him they don't afraid they they would just as soon take him out as anybody else and really what that does is it brings so much heat on detective Car- detective carter you you know what this is making me that's think about raising gonna, canaan yeah that's I mean, why he's gonna okay to, to kill that's why he's gonna be the think one about raising canaan because right now this the uh felicia chick she's a liability Big time. And she's bringing a bad, bad attention to him and his task force. So yep. he, Detective Carter, he might take her out himself. Yeah, he I, might I do it himself, it. or he may okay to kill and allow Diana to. Yep. Yeah. So I'm like, either way, Felicia got it coming. Yeah, <laughs> she got it. But you know, the whole reason that she's even in this situation is because you know Diana was pr- trying to protect Drew. You know, Felicia threatened that Drew would die in jail if she didn't take out Diana. Mm-hmm. So going back to Drew, he's in jail. He's been tasked with killing Zay, and he starts this fight in the uh, lunchroom so that he can get sent to the infirmary. But while he was at the lunch table, he overheard a little negative information. And I really liked how Drew used that to his advantage um, because he took care of business in the infirmary. He got Zay up out of there real smooth, slick, hopped back in bed like nothing ever happened. <laughs> and then he made it all. We're the cops in the infirmary. You know, how many uh, have that three times to, to do that? Apparently, they ain't paying no attention. <laughs> yeah, it'll be interesting. Slacking on the job. Out. It would be interesting to find out. I mean, obviously, he didn't die in his sleep, and I think you can determine that if if they have an autopsy. And then the problem is, uh, Drew was only what two cubicles or two um, um, emergency, beds, hospital bed, yeah, beds, hospital beds uh, between he and uh, Zay. So you would wonder. Are there cameras in there? <laughs> well, that's that's the what I thing. was thinking. Yeah, could there be cameras in there? And so. Yeah, and now he's sitting up here talking about making another kill. <laughs> you 
you know, call Drew what you want, but he gets stuff done. <laughs> you know, yeah. he he's gets smart stuff. too. He's smart. And, and they, they, um, you know, perceive that. That's why they chose him to do the job. Mm -hmm. And you, but I mean, it came back to bite him because he told him, like, Roman is about to blow up your whole operation. And if you don't want him to, you know, run his mouth, then I'll take him out for y'all while I'm up in here. But you got to leave my family alone. And he said he wants to be a lieutenant. He wants protection and access. So mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, Drew is making moves. Mm -hmm. And I think that's setting it up because remember, Drew and Kane still not cool. Right. That's, yeah, at so, all. So that is going to be, you know, head to head. I still think that's coming for sure. Yeah, I mean, the family feud continues because mm -hmm. Monet tried to go to Kane this week and tell him to stay away from Noma because Monet already know what's coming no way. Yeah. Right. And so she's trying to get ahead of it and protect Kane without saying so much. Mm -hmm. Um, But, you know, and it doesn't help that uh, Zay's brother is out here running his mouth in the streets talking about Monet did this and that and, you know, like, just starting confusion. Mm -hmm. Um, and so Kane actually confronted Monet, but she shut him all the way down. You know, even though what Kane was saying was true, it was, it was just like, I'm not in competition with you and Noma. Like, I'm not thinking about y'all, but we know. But he was trying to find out though. It was, it was like twofold because he was trying to figure out if she was the one that, that hit Noma stash. And mm -hmm. so he wanted to, he wanted to go and talk to her and confirm it in the conversation she didn't have to say anything. He knew his mom. He knew. He, he knew it was her, but he still lied for her. When he yeah, went back he to he went back to Noma, he was like, it was Zion. He knew it was he knew it was Monet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so that's why I was like, I don't know. The family feud is continuing right now, but this Diana thing might be what brings them back together. Yes. yes. So you know, they everybody's making moves, and I think Kane does need to stay away from Noma. Because she is starting to, you know, get sick of him and his mess. And it, it would be right for him to cozy back up to his family. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I mean. He's kid, though, right? I, it's. He got mommy know. issues. And that's why I said, mm -hmm. you know, this stuff with Noma, like, now the way that she's starting to talk to him is very similar to the way Monet does. And that's why I said something like that would make him snap on Noma. Well, yeah. I mean, he, I, he's only two inches off her anyway, but I, I don't see Noma lasting because Kane just is not having it. He, 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 that's what I like about his character. He does not take that mess. No, he's mm -hmm. not scared. He's not scared of nobody for yeah, sure. I mean, right. Nobody. So he's like, oh, you want to do this? And all right, let's do it. Mm hmm. Yeah. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what else they got up their sleeve. I mean, this episode had a whole lot of action. The storyline, I, I do think it was like a lot going on, but I liked how it was kind of like everybody was linked together a little bit and what what was going on. It yeah, was like a, a domino effect. Like this yeah. person does that, but it affects this. And this, mm -hmm. the person did that, but it affects this. So mm -hmm. it was like, it was cool how they tied it all in yeah. um, mm -hmm. at the end of the day. True. Um, so do you guys want to nominate anybody else for who can get the hands? I know we gave it to Felicia for sure. For sure. For I gave sure. it to Brayden. <laughs> Braden too for being here, yeah. yeah, and so that's the you, time. Hold on, you gave it to Braden for what? For what reason? Being high, being high. <laughs> you know, he, yeah, hey. like yeah, you know with Tommy. And then Braden, you're going look, to getting in the fight and messing up the fight, look, fumbling everywhere. Look, when 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 you are a, a newbie to this business, you got to find something that's going to keep you on it. You know, give you an edge. So yeah, Tommy it. was doing Is the same thing, and he was not a newbie. <laughs> no, you know, no, he thing. wasn't. I, I um I'm gonna give um Detective Carter the hands again. Yeah, he deserves it. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, you don't break in somebody's house and cause all that mess. But he did. So you get the hands. And get the hands for killing my my boy, um, Kamal. So you, you I wanna oh, give yeah. Kamal the honorable mention for the hands list because you should have never yeah, went to Carter. Know what? I was thinking that too. I was like, I don't wanna kick a man while he down. <laughs> or dance. Know? But, but, but I was like, Kamal, like what was Okay. Why would you not? Okay, we gotta establish a dumb dumb list. So Kamal, <laughs> even though you're dead, you're on the dumb dumb list. Dumb, dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, uh, like why would you do that? Yep. 
Felicia not only getting the hand, she's on the dumb dumb list. Mm-hmm. Um, anybody else for who can get the hands? Um, I don't know. I think I think I'm I'm good with the people that are on the hands list. Um, well, if we're thinking about the dumb dumb list, I would also um give Zion the um the uh, mention for the dumb dumb list as well because he killed the um the congressman or um the council yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I was just like true. you okay this is a high profile person yeah and so that's stupid mm-hmm. to like he was like I don't care da, da, da. like literally that can expose everybody yeah. yeah he did say it wasn't his intended target but he was yeah. very lax and you did a drive like, by Anybody exactly. can get get caught up in a drive by exactly. as well as you know. So yeah, he's dumb dumb. Yeah, man. I'm not mad at that one. All right, so now for the game ball. Who are we nominating for the game ball? Drew. 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 Okay. I'm agreeing with Drew too. Yeah, because he came. Business. He came through. He took care of business, and I guess Tariq and them too. I mean, Tariq did take take Zion out. You know. You gotta they get did. a you gotta get a behind whipping to do so, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was it, he was on a struggle bus. Both <laughs> right. of them was on a struggle bus for a minute, but they um ultimately got the job done. They only had twenty four hours to do it, and no one said you got it. You got what? And the end of the day, twenty four hours. He said the end of the day, mm-hmm. you know, whatever. So yeah, they got it done. By, any, it means, done. by any means necessary. By any means, so so yeah. So <laughs> I think they deserve the game ball. So and Drew yep. too. Drew handled business. Three okay. Drew. I'm not mad at that at all. Okay. So um that I mean, I'm I'm satisfied with that list. Now thinking about next week, I did see a little preview and it looked like Tasha popping back in. So I want to see what's going on with that. Um it also looks like Rashad Tate is telling Detective yeah. Carter like whoever killed Kamal is gonna pay. Yeah. And, and Carter is like, oh, well, they'll get the person. You know, he playing along with them. Yeah, we'll get them. But I ultimately think Rashad is gonna figure it out, and and it's gonna be hell to pay. Tariq, Tariq, gonna help Tariq him. that's what Tariq I thought. Tariq's gonna yeah. help him figure it out. He's oh, gonna yeah. give it to him, and he'll probably probably help him work together. They probably work together because it's in both of their interest to get rid of um, right. Carter. And I yeah. think once Tariq finds out, he's gonna go directly to Carter. I mean, um, through uh, um, Tate. Tate. Yeah, yeah. So he'll go directly to Tate. Mm-hmm. And then there's also a scene where Tariq and Monet are at the hospital, obviously, and she's asking if uh, Diana is okay. And Tariq is like, go see for yourself. And she's like, well, how's the baby? And they cut it off. And I was like, oh, so we're going to have a lot to look forward to for next week. I think that's why we're going to see Tasha. Mm -hmm. I think that the baby situation is probably going to bring her back. because Right now she don't know, though. No, she doesn't. She doesn't know, but... uh, you don't know if he if he contacts her and stuff because you know he's still able to contact her at will. You well, know. when when um they're talking, he says that he's not ghost and that he can fix it, the problem that he has. So I was like, I don't know if that's in reference to the baby and and him getting Felicia or if it's in reference to something else mm-hmm. with Noma and the drug business. So I'm yeah. like. I don't know if he told her yet, but when Tasha find out, she gonna be pissed too. Yeah, she's gonna be pissed. But the thing is, her coming into the scene and it always makes me nervous because I it makes me wonder if Monet gonna figure out that she was the one that, that shot her. Like I, I'm waiting, I want Tasha to survive, but I'm like, Ooh, can't we all just get along? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. I don't know what's going to take to bring that family together. Listen, the Tahana started it, you know, because <laughs> Diana and them set Tasha up. Like, you know. Yeah, so I'm like, it's a whole a whole situation. Because what a time he had killed Tasha. You know, yeah. they you know they gave up her, her address and witness protection and stuff. They yeah. put Tasha at risk and Tasha retaliated. Right. Yep. Yeah, so I, I'm so excited for next week. I cannot yeah. wait to see what they bring us. Um, but in the meantime, y'all, we do have a special interview dropping soon. So that notification bell, please click it now. You're not going to want to miss this one. It's a really great interview. Um, and, you know, Tiffany and Ron held it down. I had to miss out, but I'm jelly myself. I'm jelly. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't wait to watch it and see how y'all did. 
And uh, the interview, uh, I guess the interviewee, you'll see soon. We're going to keep our lips zipped on that one until it drops. So yeah, it's a had, surprise for me. We had, we had a lot of fun. Yeah. A lot of fun with it. Yeah. So um, notification bell, click that right now. That subscription button is also important. Help support our channel by clicking that subscribe button as well as the thumbs up button to like this video. And drop down in the comments and let us know what you thought about episode six. Um, we are also on social media on all platforms at The Spot Real Talk. So please give us a follow there. And, you know, just continue to show up for us every week. We love coming to chat about these uh, recaps and we can't wait to bring y'all another one uh, when episode seven comes out. So, Ron, Tiff, y'all got anything else you want to add? I'm good. All good right. Job. Well, on that note, we're going to call it a night. And we'll see you all next week for Power Book 2 Ghosts. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.